Saira, it's good to see you. So, are you ready? The Grandmaster said by tonight, Shari. Go on ahead, I'll follow. Prophetess, there's good news. We were able to decipher the Starlings' maps, and we now know where to find the City of a Thousand Floods. Sharon was just about to explain. Sharon? Yes. I suppose you already know that Vin hasn't always been like it is now. In the time of the Pyrians, it was one big continent, which they called Pangora. Only the Starfall, in the era of Azataron's madness, split it apart. In other words, the Pyrians dominated the entire world as it was back then. It was a world empire. However, until recently, we always thought that the Empire's capital, the City of a Thousand Floods, was situated somewhere near where Kira is today. We were wrong about that. It was here, in Endoral. Here? Here, beneath our feet, to be precise. Under Ark? Yes. We don't know whether it was a coincidence that Malfa's vassals set the foundation of Ark here out of all the places they could have. But they did. The heart of the Pyrian Empire was here, right where we stand. Hardly. Sadly, the Order never cared much for archaeology. We considered it a useless endeavor. And even if there had been private undertakings, the dangers such an expedition posed, let alone its costs, would have scared off most investors. But still, you're right. If the Order would have bothered, we could have saved ourselves a lot of trouble. However, it doesn't matter now. What matters is we now know where the last cleansing took place, and that it's somewhere we can reach. True, but there might be another way. Do you know the myth of the Black Guardian? Rubbish, of course. But I think that these screams are the sound of wind. And if there's wind... There are tunnels. So are you suggesting that the Undercity's cavern reaches that deep? Into the City of Floods? Into what is left of it. All we need to do is find an entrance point that can lead us down. Then we leave without further delay. There's no point in leading an army down there, so the four of us will go alone. Prophetess, speak to the Arch Magister and tell him to give you the word of the dead and the container for the Nomin House. We will need both. He's at the beacon. Shouldn't we at least think this through before we go? We... Ready your equipment. We'll meet at the gate to the Undercity. I can't believe the bear about her betrayed us, not him. Oh, uh, uh, never mind. How can I help you? I, uh, he was, but he went to get something. I, uh, I have to admit that it's a great honor to finally meet you in person. You know, when all this started, when the Grand Master exalted you, I thought it was a sin, granting an outlander what we have to fight so hard for. But now, phew, <laughs> I think Malthus or whoever sent you that he did, we owe you a lot, really. 
Oh, don't thank me. Say... May I ask you something? It. The beacon. Do you really think it'll work? I just don't understand. Hmm. You know... I lost someone. Not too long ago. It was the Naramese. Under the command of that butcher Korok. My family has a small farm near the coast. And when the first of the Naramese ships landed, I immediately rode to them. To get them into the city. I... I'm sorry. This isn't easy. Our farm. It's on a small cliff near the farmer's coast. Just a few miles from Ark. I all... The smell of burnt meat. It was everywhere. I rode faster and faster, and then... When I got to the house... I saw that it was on fire. And that someone had put up three crosses. And they were burning too. My mother... My father... And my sister, they... They were still alive, you know? And I... I just stood there. And there was nothing I could do. Do you understand? Nothing. And it doesn't matter how I try to look at it. It all amounts to one thing. I was too weak. I was too late, and I was too weak. That wouldn't have happened to you, would it? If I could just be more like you, then I... Your flesh. Yes, that's it. All I need is a piece of your flesh, and nothing like that will ever happen again. Why? Is that so hard to understand? But you just don't want to share, isn't that it? You want it all for yourself. Because you're vain, the beacon won't burn. It never will. Thousands have tried it before you. Thousands were as arrogant as you are. And they all failed. Because the light will burn, it will devour you until there's nothing left of it. Nothing but burnt flesh. I see, Chris. You're familiar with that, aren't you? Prophetess. Prophetess. Son, they they were possessed. That was impossible. Oh, of course. Wait. Oh, the damage is within acceptable limits. Nothing we shouldn't be able to repair. But wait, what is that noise? What in blazes happened here? And what is that noise? The Naramese. They are in the city. The Their entire army. What? No. This is impossible. This is impossible! And this? What's the meaning of this bloodbath? I... I don't know, Grandmaster. The High Ones somehow were able to possess the Keepers. They tried to destroy the beacon. Kill the prodigy. What? 
But the stone, we... Grandmaster, you... you have to see this. What? That the Narimis are in the city? I know that already. No, we... we know how they did it. The true Chessa betrayed us. Nonsense. It's the truth. She and almost a third of the Keepers followed Vartar's example. Come, you should hear it for yourself. I ordered that the temple gates be closed. There. She survived it. Open your eyes, traitor. What? Oh, I... am master. You... I am so sorry. <coughs> it shouldn't have happened like that. Oh, my mouth is... What have I done? Tell us what happened. Of course, Grandmaster. I will. <laughs> the Trichessa. She... She contacted Korak and asked for... <clears throat> Relax. She's bleeding to death, Grandmaster. We need to get her into the Curarium. We will, once we're done. Continue. The Trichessa arranged a meeting with Korak. What did she want from him? A truce. She offered him the city. If he would promise not to harm anyone. She had this... This stone. You know... The Sigil Stone that protects us keepers from the High Ones. Gorak. He agreed. But once the gates were open, he... he killed everyone. Yes. The Trichessa, he just... Even though she kept her end of the bargain. Then they swarmed into the city and... Oh, but Malphus, I... I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Take her to the Curarium. Yes, yes, of course, Grandmaster. Lerum, get her, bring me a stretcher. Wait. You... You have to forgive me. I mean, I... We only wanted the best. You have to believe me. Please don't let me die as a pathless. I... Please. <laughs> I forgive you. Now go. Yes. Yes, of course, Grandmaster. What are your orders, Grandmaster? We aren't many, but if we use cunning, we might be able to drive them back out of... We will not. We are no more than five dozen up here, and the Narimis are thousands. And both our black powder and our boiling oil are in the barracks. Then it's over. We've lost. What? No! Nothing is over! They can't be that far into the city yet. We only have to drive them out of the gates, and then... And how exactly are you planning to do that? By loading the cannons with sugar mint and shooting bowls of herbs at the Neramis? Great idea, really. You sodding! Quiet! Narajil and Sharim are right, Commander. Ark is lost. But our war against the High Ones isn't. The beacon still stands and it will continue to do so as long as we hold the temple. We've lost the battle, yes. But not the war. All we need is the Numinars, and then the beacon will be lit. And what then? I don't think Korak will withdraw once we've destroyed his vision of this ascent. Correct, he won't. Which is why we will surrender. What? It is the only way. As I said to the Chichessa before, this war is about more than just us. If we choose to give up now, or if we choose to fight and die down there. Korek will destroy the beacon either way, 
and let the cleansing happen. We will prevent that at all costs. Which is why we will find the Nominars, light the beacon, and then surrender. But Quarik will kill us all. Yes, he will. We will die, but there is no alternative. Quarik isn't man enough to participate in the battle himself. So even if we were to break out and fight, all we would do is kill his delusional soldiers. And their deaths would be as pointless as this entire war. Once the High Ones are vanquished, we've done our duty. That's it. But no! We are warriors, and true warriors fight! You true that. warriors ask questions. Like the question, when does a battle for ideals become nothing more than a battle for vanity? Those soldiers down there, Commander, they are nothing more than butchers. But we, we are more than that. But I will not stop you. As soon as the beacon is lit, you're free to flee. But for now, you will hold this place at all costs while we search for the Numinars. Archmagister, do you have the word of the dead? I do, yes. But how do you plan to get into the Undercity from here? The entire city is swarming with Korax's soldiers. Leave that to me. Commander Aaron, gather the remaining keepers and arcanists. I will address them. You all know what has happened. We were betrayed by our own brothers and sisters. As we speak, people are dying, slaughtered by the Nerimese, who think we are their enemy. And I know what you are feeling right now. Anger. Anger aimed at those in our ranks who did this to us. But you're wrong. Despite their deed, they wanted to protect us, to fulfill their holy duty. And the same applies to Korek and his soldiers. Yes, they are deluded. Yes, they have committed crimes past redemption, but they too only did what they thought was right. If there is someone to blame in all this, it's the High Ones and no one else. They, brothers and sisters, they are the ones responsible. They have no mind, no compassion, no soul, and their only reason for existing is to destroy. They are cowards who act out of the shadows and play us against each other like puppets on strings. And right now, they think they have won. They think they can defeat us. But they will fail, because we are still here. We have the beacon. The only thing capable of stopping all this madness. And that is exactly what we're going to do. After that, you are free to go. Flee, fight. Do whatever you think is best. I myself will surrender. Because every drop of blood spilled after we have done our duty and destroyed the High Ones is useless. And even if the Neremes kill me, my death will be a sign. A sign that people like Koarek will never understand. Hatred breeds hatred. This is what history has taught us. And this is what makes the High Ones strong. Stand by me when the time comes, or go. But until then, fight!
And there she goes. Four thousand years this city has stood. And now she is a flame. It is a tragedy. There is another way. I suppose you already know that the Order was never proud of the fact that something like the Undercity exists. And maybe you also know that we and the Relata had an informal agreement. They rule the underground and we rule the surface. In reality, however, this is only half the truth. We never handed over the reins entirely. There is a plan B in case things get out of control and the Undercity's inhabitants revolt, like they did once during the Blood Moon riots. Probably. I will make it short. There's a set of tunnels throughout the King's Mountain on which this temple was built, and they lead all the way down into the Undercity. They were built to release poison gas into the entire cave system. It would have been an option, with the gates to the surface barred, no one would have survived. Down and back up again, yes. The Nerimis do not know about these tunnels, and when they find out, it will be too late. After that, you know what I will do. There is a way into the tunnels through the dungeons of this temple. Meet me and Sharim there once you're ready to depart. And bring your beloved with you. Prepare yourself. There is another way. Huh? What do you want? Prophetess. Do what we can here, but her. Who knows what the narrow means will come up to So, Ira. No, and so unnecessary. What did he say? How is he planning to get us down into the Undercity? <laughs> so a system designed for genocide turns out to be our path to salvation. Anyway, there is one thing I wanted to ask you before we set out. If things happen as Aranthiel thinks they will, will you surrender to Quarak? Yes, especially with all that. I'm glad you see it that way. Let's wait and see what happens. I'll go meet up with Sharim and the Grandmaster. I'll see you there. Huh? What do you want?
has always been its creative. My respect for that, I feel. They're here. One moment. Interesting. If I may ask, Grandmaster, how does that work? It's a sigil, and it can only be opened by one bearing the Grandmaster's sword. Follow me. In case you were wondering, those three water gates up there, the stalling machinery which releases the poison gas. As long as we do not hold the <laughs> In case you were wondering, those three water gates up there contain the stalling machinery which releases the poison gas. As long as we do not open them, we can pass safely through the tunnels. So, this tunnel system, how many exit points does it have? I assume that a single exit into the Undercity wouldn't have sufficed the port. No, there are a total of eight exits, and we will be used that leads into the Crow District. According to Marajil, we should be able to find a suitable entrance point into the Old Depths from there. Yourself. 